Unknowingly, our desire to create stability, safety, and comfort have started to crowd out our desire for adventure and challenge. We start using less and less of the creative part of our brain and more of the part designed to detect threats and react to the world around us, which is filled with many perceived dangers. The corporate job feels safe, yet silently you fear you're only one restructuring away from a layoff, so you stifle that inner creativity for fear of standing out. The need to provide for your family prevents you from continuing to pursue your dreams, so your greatest gift to the world goes unopened, unexpressed, and shoved deeper into your heart. Instead of adventure, you rest comfortably, yet unsettled, in your present situation. Because I was once there myself, caught between the tension of providing for my family and pursuing purpose. The grand adventure is one of helping leaders figure out what is missing and where they stopped playing offense and when they started playing defense. When they figure it out for themselves, they stop seeing the other people around them as competition and more as collaborators, and they can help others find a sense of adventure to collectively solve the most difficult problems. Corporate cultures are reignited, families are rejuvenated, relationships and communities reimagined. It's time for us to stop reacting to the world around us and for us together to go on the grandest adventure of all, journeying within so we can collectively fill the void of leadership in our society.